Hi friends, in this Kinter window, buttons are created dynamically. It is taken from a list here. You can see that at the top this list and this list based on the elements, the buttons are placed. This list where data may change also, we may take it from a database. So sometime more buttons will come, sometime less buttons will come and user also can add, remove buttons. So what happens this dynamically, these buttons are created based on the uh, list and accordingly the width and height of the window also needs to be adjusted. So these width and heights are not fixed here. We'll learn how we'll do this. Here is a blank template. From here we will start. We have not given any dimension or the geometry to this. You can see this is our parent window. We are imported Kinter here. And now we will add the our height and width. So let's say width, comma two variables we are setting. Height, uh, width and height equal to this value is, you can say let's say 100 and 215 whatever these are the two variables now these variables will use and create a our geometry or dimensions will give now this takes a string so for that we'll create a our uh, dimension here this again one more variable str we are converting the width to say a string and then adding it to another string which says like this x then again one more string we are uh, creating using the height so this is just a string only taking the values there so we can change the this variable values so our window dimensions will change now we'll create the geometry so my underscore w now we are saying to take the shape like that geometry now here inside that i'll just give the value so now our blank window is ready with this dimension whatever we have given now if you want to see this let's run this yeah, here it is <clears throat> because we have not given the added the component. So it take the shape whatever is available. Let's add a list here. So here is a tuple with all the it's a list. It's a languages a list of languages. You we can will be adding and removing elements from this. So accordingly, our number of buttons also should change here. We are not sure how many buttons will come. And so this is we are taking and it may come from a database also. So for that, we'll write for language in languages. So this is the list actually. S is this is the list and this is just a language. This part is just a variable. You can change to any name you want. So now that we'll be using to create the buttons. So let me just put a button here, uh, button here, then equal to TK dot button. Now I will say where it will be my parent window is my underscore W what you are declared at line number two. Now what should be the text over it? Now the text it should re it should uh, take the value of whatever the variable inside the loop. So it's PHP, Python, Perl, whatever it is. So for that I will say language because that is the variable. <clears throat> now yeah, we don't have anything right now to any command to update. Now let's place it on, a, on our grid. So this will remove it and place it on a grid. So sorry, beat bottom dot grid now row, which row? Row equal to one row only we are using. Now column, because this is next button will be right of it, next button. So column has to be every time inside the loop has to increase because next column will be one plus, next column will be one plus like that. So for that, I will declare one variable here. We'll come to the end, enter it. Let's say one var equal to Mm, we'll start from giving the variable at zero. Now let's come here. Now give the value of this column equal to equal to var. Now slightly pad x, pad x equal to let's say two, and pad y equal to ten. From the top edge it's ten, and from the left edge pad x. So every button will maintain a gap of two from the a previous button or the button left of it now what you will do this value variable will increment it because next time it will take plus equal to one that's all now first loop it will take zero value because here we have taken the zero next it will take the value as uh, uh, we have added it one so one so next will be one more two next will be three like that this value will keep on changing and every time within the loop the value is increased by one here so all these buttons should display in our window let's just uh, but here the issue is we have kept the width as 
100 so that's the problem let's slightly increase it make it 250 so 250 is the width height is 215 okay let's then subsequently we'll change it now let's just run this and see how this buttons looks here it is you can see all the buttons have come we have not created manually them we have just within the loop now here mysql okay let's see how one more is not visible so we can either we have to increase the width or remove one element we'll just remove this two see how this affects we are removing these two elements fine now one two three five elements are there so let's run this yeah you can see the now dynamically these five elements have come other two are removed otherwise what we would have done would have sorry i will just again add those two and increase this to let's say 350 we'll say 350 so i have increased the width now that's the problem because i am not sure how many buttons requirement will be so i every time i have to change. let's say that we'll change the program in such a way that it will decide based on the number of buttons what the width should be let's adjust the width based on the number of elements or in our list what are the languages we have set now for that let's say again we'll take the variable width equal to 50 50 we are taking the width per button so that the value we are taking it as 50 sorry here multi it will multiply it by uh, len or how many number of elements are there len then we'll say languages these are languages okay so what happened this will will pick up how many elements are there this languages the list is here so this list right now one two three four five seven are there so 50 into seven so this width will have the value of 350 now similar then that will set it there so for that we'll just again recalculate our uh, string so we'll say dim oh, this is sorry this is the string what you are using str we have to convert because these are all integers so we'll say again width now we'll say plus again one x so this is the string we are constructing so that will be our uh, that will pass it as parameter so height now this is a string is prepared with the new width actually the height is remain same the width we are changed here so the new value of width is taken now this will apply to our geometry my underscore w now geometry now here i will say vd our dimension so this is the new dimension it should take it now let me just save this and see one two three four five seven so let's run this and see what what's the width is so we'll see okay this is the width of it little more now let's what you will do initially the width will reduce to 200 here this is the first when you're opening it so let's keep it 250 so now what or let's back to 200 or 150 we'll keep it so because now the requirement is more so we'll say 150 now let's go up you can see still it increases let me just save it again save it run it again you can see okay now what happens is here this width is width height width is more okay so now let's add more data to this or remove some points here with 15 to learn languages okay now we'll change this here one point I have to control X so I have removed this now save this run once see the width has shrink now because it is a new width we have taken it because it is not expanding now let me just close this and add once more that one here I missed the comma so okay more more elements are there so based on these elements numbers this will expand this so this is expanding now let me just add few more things okay there is a C language also what more we can go for Oracle then one more will go <coughs> let's say write something data okay so now let's 
run this and see how this now this width has further increased so this increase is uh, because we are dynamically taking and this width are getting adjusted here so now you may say that okay let's not go beyond certain value so can you or let's the uh, window not shrink below certain value so we can set the maximum width or the minimum width and the maximum height also we are not so far not adjusted the height height also can be adjusted accordingly and dynamically can be created now those that part and another is how we'll get the read the values because this geometry actually this sends the request to your window it's not the final value because this sends the request and the once the all the data are all the components are updated then the height and width are allotted then that what is the final width and height how we'll know all this will learn in the next part of it where you will totally understand how the geometry of the kinter window works uh, we'll stop here i'll request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently do that also and if you have any doubt suggestion question use the comment section below to post it please share this with your friends and thank you for watching